This protocol utilizes a regulatable promoter that allows controlled protein expression. In this experiment, we use a high copy 2 micron plasmid that expresses the nth 2 domain from a methionine repressible promoter. Wild type yeast cells are transformed with this plasmid, and transformants are selected on plates lacking uracil. After overnight growth in selective media, cells are synchronized by an acortisol mediated growth arrest. Finally, nth2 expression is induced by transferring cells to media lacking methionine. During the time course experiment, protein concentration is monitored by western blotting and morphological phenotype development by microscopy. Hi, I'm Claudio Aguila in the Department of Biological Sciences, Purdue University. I am Devarati Mukherjee in the Aguilar lab. And I'm Arpita Sen, also in the Aguilar lab. Today we're going to show you a procedure for analysis of development of a morphological phenotype as a function of protein concentration in body yeast. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the morphological and molecular aspects of a cell division phenotype observed upon overexpression of the nth2 domain of the endocytic adapter protein, epsin2. So let's get started. This protocol begins with the construction of a yeast strain that will express your protein of interest. In our case, we transform the wild-type yeast strain W303 with high-copy plasma DNA that contains nth2 under the control of a methionine-repressible promoter. 2 millimolar methionine suppresses MET25 promoter activity, while media lacking methionine allows maximal expression. Pick six colonies from a plate containing recently transformed cells and inoculate in 50 milliliters of selective yeast.